bro. What, what you want to know? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm blessed, you know what I mean? Uh, I thank God every day, you know what I mean, for me being in this position. Great entertainer, right on the, on the mic, and then even a great worker. I tell you, you can beat me one on one. I might could do that. I, I got to put the shades on. Let me, let, let me fuck. Growing the game uh, at such a global level. You can't keep up with me to be consistent on a daily basis. Hell yeah, look at him, he act too cool, he act too confident. To see it come to such a um, reward for all the hard work that you put in, and to rise to the top. Your team turning in that perp, we're not. What up, this is KRS-One with the Takeover Files. Make sure y'all stay tuned on this, realness. What's going on, it's your boy Lido Takeover, this is the Takeover Files. We done had a great day. We done dropped a couple of interviews today, and this is gonna be our Saturday night cap. This man right here, I met him at the Philly Hip Hop Awards. We had a great interview. I messed up. I messed up the footage. You feel me? I'll take that. I'll take that. You feel me? But we had to make sure this man definitely uh, came back to the studio today because since I've been following this man, this man has been doing nothing but working nonstop. Working through being senseless and genuine and just being a uh, uh, just a great, a great dude, the one and only, Lavari. How you doing, man? Thank you, man. I appreciate that. No doubt, bro. No I really doubt. Appreciate that. No doubt, man. I need, be, I need to be saying that to you, though. You know, you got your NBA legends. You've been interviewing. What's up? Your Hollywood stars, man. So What's I'm honored that? to be here. Thank you. Nah, I appreciate that, bro. <laughs> but this is about you today, bro. My man, Lavari. You feel me? We're gonna, we're gonna take a trip down memory lane. You know what I'm saying, cause right. going on your social media, one of the things that first and foremost stands out is your Abby, and you're in the Grammys. Mm -hmm. Let us know a little bit about that. So actually, that's about a year to the day. Wow. Um, yeah, because the Grammys were, um, well actually next week will make a year that I was I attended the Grammys oh, for the first time. And I was like, yeah, that was the dream come true. Yeah. I didn't get nominated, but I'm, I'm a member of the Recording Academy. Man, it's just a fact. So I get to vote for the Grammys. Really? Yeah. So how, did you, how did you become a member? So to be a member, um, you have to have a certain amount of credits, okay. um, a certain amount of releases. You know, um, and if you're not an artist per se, then you have to have a certain amount of credits as a producer or a writer. Um, and they go by all music. There's a site called All Music. Um, it's basically you know how, you know how like IMDb is yeah. like a film database. Mm -hmm. So All Music is similar in that sense. Okay. Um, so you know you go to the RecordingAcademy.com or .org. I forgot what it is. And um, you know you, there's a thing where you can request to register to, to become a member of the Recording Academy. And you know. Go through all these things, but primarily it's about it's about having enough credits to be recognized, you know, as you know, as a recording artist or as a producer, etc. So how long have you been able to do that? Like, how long have you been on the uh, committee? I've been a member of the Recording Academy for about four years now. Wow! But every year you have to renew to, and every year you got to go through the same process. Right, that's it. So, uh -huh. so you know, how how long have you been doing music for? What, like professionally or like just... just I, I mean, everything goes into the same story. I mean, I, I, I was three years old as a kid, like, you know, like walking around in like diapers and, and right. underwear and stuff like that, like singing like everywhere with the wooden wooden block. So right. like three. <laughs> so so <laughs> profe the, professionally, my, my first record came out, um, my first record came out almost 10 years ago now. Wow. Yeah. Man, you got some time in the game, man. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Like but, and it, but it's cool though because like, you know, the more I do, like the more, the more things people think I'm a new artist and that's great mm. you know what I mean that that's really great because you know you keep you keep stepping up the creativity ladder yeah, yeah. and like so, okay, I'm sorry. No, I'm good, I'm good. no and and like you know to a lot of people I am a new artist because I had my first top 40 iTunes single in 2018 you know what I mean thank you so like you know what I'm saying it's like if people follow because you know some people follow charts so like you know to people that you know just go by charts then yeah I am a new artist you know so what song is that Love. Love, I figured yeah. it. I was going to say either Love or Paparazzi. Paparazzi. I was going to say one of them too. Yeah, pap Paparazzi is, is probably the most popular video, but Love is the most popular song, yeah. So tell me, um, just what's, what's your mindset as far as each one of your diff videos are different mm -hmm. and they, they definitely give a, a meaning to the song. So I appreciate that. Thank no you. doubt, bro. I definitely, I definitely, the artistry, I love it, man. Thanks, man. So what, what goes into as far as the thought process? into directing your videos. Do you direct the videos or do I you have write a my, I write all the concepts. Okay, you can definitely you tell. You know, I, I have directors, but like, you know, I mean, the term director is so like, can be, yeah, <laughs> right. you know what I mean? Cause like, right. yeah, like I give people director credit, Facts. rightfully so. 
but I'll tell them, okay, this is what I want. I want it like this, and I'll even like dictate angles. Mm. But you know that, hey, listen, they're directors, so they know what they're doing. They're amazing, you know. So you can say that, you know, I give the directors their just credit. But if you want to get analytical, then yeah, I mean, I kind of co-direct my stuff too. I, I definitely write everything, so I'm the one that writes everything. Real quick, you shout know. out to your background dancers. Shout out to my background dancers. What, 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 I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't like the word background because I, I just say the word all Shout out team. to your dancers. Ta That's your team. Because I see you got one guy and uh, there's another lady. Yeah. And Man, they're, they're just so close. dedicated. They're amazing. And they're they're both, so, and you can see it in, and just how they're, express, they're expressing themselves John in the video. Akiko. The dedication. Yeah, John what's the name? Aki John, John Derek Mitchell, aka John Ninja, and Akiko Tokioka, um, aka Akiko. But they're both in like a famous like dance troupe called the House of Ninja. Okay. And like you know that that's like um, Vogue and things like that. And um, they're also in a show on FX now called Pose. Oh wow, that's dope. And like they're amazing. Like they, John, especially John, like Akiko is amazing, and and she's been rocking with me for for almost two years now. But John's been rocking with me since before I made my first record. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And he's danced for like a bunch like. The House of Ninja has danced for Madonna and like, like you know, all these people, Janet Jackson. So, for yeah. for people from there to rock with me, I'm grateful. Man, so how important are relationships to you in this industry that we're in? In regards to what? In regards to like you said, uh, John's been rocking with you for before you did your first single. Mm -hmm. So it's evident that you know you guys have a a a just a bond and a a friendship. That I goes see what you're saying. Deeper than music. I so like, I'm as far as mm -hmm. like, for I like, example, I like to work with the same. I like to have a consistent relationship okay. with people. Um, I have I have no problem working with the same people for an extended period of time. Um, Tiago, um, aka Triple, um, he he's in Portugal now, um, but he directed three of my videos. Mm -hmm. Wait, four, three. Yeah, paparazzi love. He directed three. Okay. <laughs> he directed three. So like, yeah, yeah. So I like to maintain creative relationships. John. You know, Kiko, yeah. I mean, one, once I find, I find people, I do like to work. And it's cool, man, to, you know, work and observe with other people, of yeah. course, you know, and all that. But, you know, one, once you find, like, people that, you know, share, like, minds and visions or, you know, creativity or loyalty, you do certainly want to work with that. Because right. there are a lot of people, too, that, you know, are, are like, you know, snakes or whatever. And right. I, I definitely have my fair share of that, too. Yeah, like Absolutely. you said, a big big word that you said was loyalty, you know, mm -hmm. that's, that's like a, man, a... a, a term that's just thrown around so loosely these days. I mean but, see how I said I was like can you can you Yeah bro, yeah. right right <laughs> Alright man let's take let's rewind a little bit man okay. um let's take it back to the first <laughs> yeah <laughs> Hey yo shout out LeVar bro definitely shout out LeVar <laughs> man this this just popped in my head because we gotta talk about this real quick. Hey man the match you? game. Uh-huh bro what you doing on TV? I know you so you, you act. My first time. You sing. I mean, I'm sorry. You act. You <laughs> sing. You, I, you, you do it all. Thank so, you. how did you get into the match game? So, match game um, with the Alec Ball, hosted by Alec Baldwin. Um, I was the season premiere, so I was the guest star in the season premiere. And if I won or if I didn't win, you had to watch it because I don't want to get in trouble. Oh man! You gotta watch it. It's everywhere. You could go on ABC. I mean, you could right. go on Hulu. So. You could look at my clips, <laughs> my IG clips. Hey, 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 shout out to IG out for everybody real quick also. Say it again? Shout out to our uh, Instagram for everybody. My Instagram is Lavari underscore, L-O-V-A-R-I underscore. So make sure y'all watching them clips, you feel me? Because I saw that match game clip, I was like, man, where? This dude is everywhere. This dude's really everywhere. <laughs> Running to, to each other, the Philly Hip Hop Awards. Um, I remember you were with, you were with Sir also. I love Sir. With Sir. Tell me a little bit about y'all. Love, uh, love him. Tell me a little bit about how you guys got IG up. right now. It's before the interview. Yeah, yeah. He, yes. he's, he's so dope. Uh, sir, actually, um, I first um, did a first interview with Sir in 2015. Wow. From my other album, Yeah, I Want to Be Loved, and then um, y'all just kept in contact with him. And then when my new album, The Rhythm of Life, came out, you know, I hit him up again. You know, for an interview, and I just been you know doing a bunch of stuff with him and his team. They're amazing, bro. They're yeah. So well, you you already know because because you know him and all that. Definitely. Uh, Matter of fact, he rocked my jacket. He rocked my jacket during that interview, right. bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you couldn't air mine because then it would have been a continuity error. You know what? We're gonna stick with that. We're gonna <laughs> stick with that, man. Exactly. Nah, but dog, no, that's. Like, Sir, definitely a good dude. He's a great dude. Just, Absolutely. Him and Pearl and Eric, just everybody. Like, J, you know, uh, J Capital P, 
Queen Nisha, like every time I do, you know, an event mm. or, or work with them, they're the most professional, amazing people. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not just like, oh, hey, come here, okay, you, all right, thanks, peace. Nah, they're like amazing people, and then they, they keep in touch and support, yeah. even if it's not their something that I did with them. You yeah. know what I mean? That's how I'm here. It's, all about it's like Philly. I'm in love with Philly, man. Like I was about to say, Philly's like amazing. I want to move here. And where you where you originally from? New I'm Jersey, right? From Queens. Oh, Queens. I'm okay. From Queens. You just right now you just reside. I'm a Jersey, Jersey boy now. Okay. I've been a Jersey boy for almost ten years. So I, I, yeah. Oh yeah, I was about to say. You definitely... Safe to say I'm a Jersey boy. But <laughs> so, I grew I grew up in Queens, and I went to Bayside High School, and and um, Jamaica, Bayside, Hollis, Queens Village. That's the area that I grew up in. So tell me a little bit about that. Just growing up in Queens, Queens, New York. And what around it's two fair zone? Yeah, that, that's about all much I can tell you. It's mad annoying because if you don't drive, you got to take the bus to, to the subway, or you can take the Long Island Railroad, but that's dumb expensive. Man, I heard it's annoying to have a car out there. My boy is trying to get me to take his car because he live in New York because they booting and ticking him up all week. Listen, man, I don't know how to drive, you know, I'm on the <laughs> like road, and I'm good. First of all, <laughs> you got the Grammys now, you, you, the, the date and match game, you got to know how to drive, bro. That's nope. why. Dude, I can't drive in my dreams. I've flown in my dreams. I swam with sharks in my dreams. In my dreams, I can't drive. It's not happening. So how important is it to dream? How important is it to dream? Dream. You mean like psychologically or you mean like to, to dream for your success? Um. Or both? Paul, both, really, because I feel like they're, they really go hand to hand if you think about it. I mean, you, you I mean, I look, my dreams are like psychic dreams. I have a lot of dreams that actually happen, bad and good. So, um, I so can't that's going towards your success too. Okay. Yeah, but I can't control it. You Definitely. know what I mean? So like all that, all that stuff about dream interpretation, I don't believe in mm. because my dreams usually happen. Okay. Or like, or like that's, it'll happen. That's crazy. Yeah, or it'll happen like if if it doesn't happen to me, it'll happen to somebody I know, bad or good. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely psychic. So um, I believe in that part, but all like the dream thing. So if you dream about a tooth or whatever, it means this. Nah, it, nah. With me, if I dream about a tooth falling out, Somebody that means my tooth out. is falling out the next day. You know what I'm saying? Right, but, um, right. but to dream and believe in yourself, I mean, that that's a, you have to, or else you're not going to succeed. You're not even going to get started. You know what I mean? So when, but you, you know that facts, man. I dream big or don't dream at all. So when you first got into the entertainment business. Mm -hmm. What was your biggest dream or where did you feel like you wanted to end up? You know, my biggest dream to this day, you know, I've, I've been blessed to achieve a lot of my, my dreams and goals, the Grammys, getting on MTV, now getting on VH1, but I have not yet had a billboard charting single. Mm. So I charted on iTunes, you know, I charted on my, my album, The Rhythm of Life, went to number 14 on the Amazon um, R&B Soul yeah, Bestseller so Chart, thank you. Um, Love went to the top 40 on the iTunes chart, but I haven't been on Billboard yet. So okay. my ultimate dream, even when I was a kid, because I used to like watch America's Top 10 and all that stuff. So my ultimate goal is, and even though like a lot of people will, will say that iTunes now is the definitive chart, you know, it, it, like even when I read like blogs and stuff, it's like so and so was, was number one on the iTunes charts this week. You know, Billboard is 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 very respected and all that, but I think even in this day and age, you know, the younger kids especially pay more attention to iTunes. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, you know, and it may be the more established of it, but my dream is still Billboard. I, I want I want a song. I will get a song on Billboard. So That's after, my dream. So after my my major that. dream. So after you get that, then what's the next step? Or do you feel like you've reached your... Level no, that, that's my biggest one. Like that's my biggest dream. But I mean, like I have, of course, I have other things I want to accomplish. You know, more with my acting. Mm -hmm. You know, I've, I've I've been blessed to. Um, I won for best actor at um the Newark Latino Film Festival that's for right. my role. In, thank you for my role in Moth, Madness of the Heart, uh, directed by Nancy Vasquez. Shout out to Nancy. Um, and you know, so I want to I want to do more, yeah. you know, roles, you know, roles and and. You know, hopefully win more awards. But it's not really about the awards, about doing roles. I just want to do more roles. Yes. It's about the awards for me. I, it's, no, I'm about no, no, you have to no. be honest. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I'm not saying I don't want it, but you know what I mean? Like, I do, like, you know, if you say, all right, you can you can get only one more role mm -hmm. and win a Golden Globe or an Academy Award, or you can get a bunch of roles and you will be known, but you won't win a, a Golden Globe Academy Award. I'd rather do the bunch of roles. I, yeah, I feel you on that. I feel you on that. Hey man, so how long have you been acting for? I mean, my first major role was in the film Salts. Okay. Um, and that was in 2011. 
So what? How like how did you get NFL. into the acting? Did you go to a? Uh, it's like, an go like acting school. school? No, oh. no. Um, I just started. You know, doing. I started as as an extra, mm-hmm. and then I, then I started taking like, you know, acting classes and things like that. And but I jump started it by making my own short film. Mm. That's dope. Because I was doing what, extra work and it was a short thing. Short thing. Uh, mm. It was about it was it was it was a mockumentary on shark attacks that really happened in 1916 in Matawan, New Jersey. Mm. So I was like, so I was first I was just doing extra roles. I'm like, well, damn, I guess I gotta create something for me. You know what I mean? So right. that's what I did. No, that's dope. So you went about you recorded and, or you? Uh, I never, I had never written, directed a, a screenplay before mm. or anything like that. And and I, I directed it um, along with um, James Hill. And then I got three producers involved, and we did it. But again, like I'm the one that wrote. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So what was that feeling like after you, after you just watched your baby? You know, after it was over. Honestly, man, I'm very critical of it. Yeah. I mean, for back then, I was like, okay, cool. But now with so much technology, but I still got to keep thinking that there wasn't there. There, you know, there's a huge jump in technology, mm. film-wise, you know, especially digital, all that from you know, 2011 to now, you know what I'm saying? But like, I'm very critical of it. It's not something that I'm proud of it, but it's not something, if, if I was to present it on a bigger level, like try to get it on like Netflix or something like that, I would have to reshoot it because okay. there's some parts that I think are very cheaply shot. Well, there's other parts that, that are very impressive to me. And like you said, it was your first time. So. It was my, and it won, it did win actually. Yeah, right. So. <laughs> it won to, you know, that being said, right. it won, it did win two awards. It won um, Best to Spend Short, no, I'm lying to you. It only won one award. That's a, sorry, but, but it was screen. It was Lamar like Mario had gas in his stats. No, screen dad. It was screen dad. The first, the very first uh, film festival I submitted it to, it, it was screen. So that's cool. The Coney Island Film Festival, and and it, a lot of it took place in Coney Island. But um, it won best to spend short at the New York International Independent Film Festival. Mm. Um, but the thing I was proud of was that um, two years ago, even though the film was made, you know about 10 years ago. Two years ago, um, there was a 100 year anniversary of the real shark attacks that my film was inspired by. Okay. And they screened it there. And to me, it was a dream come true. That's because the, I, wrote, I wrote it about that. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's heavy. Right, and I was one of the major, that's a, I was one of the main thing, you know, things during that, you know, the events things that were going on that week. Mm, that's heavy. That's so to heavy. me, that, that was like, yeah, a dream come true. All right. To, to switch it up a little bit, I'm going to ask you, I got two more questions for you. One question will be, in one word, describe your style of music. One word. The first thing that comes to my mind, but it's not, no, I'm not going to use it because I don't, it doesn't, it doesn't. If it make it easier, you can do a phrase. Can I do a phrase? You can do a phrase. Okay. Um... 90s, early 90s, with 80s vocal tones. I can feel that. Yeah, I can see early that. Early 90s with 80s vocal tones. So sounds sounds like the 90s, voice like the 80s. Uh, I can feel that. Yeah, I like that. All right, that's, so that's what it is. Yeah, that's that's dope. Hmm. All right, so this question, I'm trying to like wrap up everything you do into one question. All right. So. All right. Out of everything you do, what brings you the most joy? Music. Music? Mm-hmm. I love acting too, but music because, you know, acting, you're, you're, you're playing somebody else's role. Mm-hmm. In music, I'm creating it. Because I write my own songs. Mm-hmm. I write my own songs. So, like, with the exception of the Mariah Carey remake, but otherwise I write, I write all my lyrics and, and I come with melodies. I don't produce the beats per se, but I'll, I'll sing. Like, like, some people will write first, mm-hmm. they'll write to the beat. But most of the time, I'll come up with the melody first, and then and then have you know work with with the producer to come up with that. That's dope. With that beat, you right. know what I'm saying? So yeah. de- definitely, music uh, encompasses like everything for. I honestly thought you was gonna say acting to be honest. So that's cool, man. I mean, nah, yeah. nah, that's cool. No, that's that's dope though. So, but, I mean, but you use the acting with the music video part. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like my new music video that's coming out on VH1 in February, "Give Me Back My Heart." Um, that you know, incorporates acting from one of my favorite artists of all time, Annie Lennox, who mm. had a music video, Walking on Broken Glass. So it's not a remake of Walking on Broken Glass, the video, but I used elements of, of that music video 
for the like 17th century stuff like like Word. like George Washington Age of Innocence like old fashioned Damn, that's dope, things bro. yeah it's like like I said man just the concepts you know how sometimes you'll see a video and it has nothing to do with the song uh -huh. that's not what I get from your music just Good. Throw that out there. <laughs> no I appreciate that bro well, I'm always trying to make sure that it that it goes through what you know what I'm, what I'm doing yeah man uh -huh. I really appreciate that thank you. No problem, man. Last question, because, you know, I know we, we are about to wrap up for time. But um, I just want to know, man, five years from now, no, scratch that. Can we do three months from now? Man, I'm actually three months from now. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I really want to know, man, when you first started, could you ever have imagined you'd be where you are today? No, I wanted more. And I still mm. want more. So I'm actually disappointed in myself, mm. to be honest with you. So even after attending, I mean, being a part of the Grammys uh, yeah. uh, committee, the uh, mm -hmm. MTV VH1 coming up, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the match game, mm -hmm. you still disappointed? Yes, so? I am. I'm being completely honest. I'm still disappointed in myself. Because I've been, although no, I, I know a lot of people that have been in the game for 10, 15, 20 years, and then you know, people think that they came up overnight and all that, but I, think that I should have accomplished a lot more. But at, at the, on, on the other side of the coin though, I'm grateful because the past two years, everything's been like, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's like last year, Grammys, MTV, iTunes, Amazon. You know what I'm saying? Now this year, this year, VH1, um, X, S, XSW, South by Southwest, I'll be doing it for the first time. That's what we do. You know what I mean? Um, match game, major, major TV game show. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, I, I am disappointed. In myself, and I know it sounds messed up, but I am. Oh, that's, that's I don't. I believe in myself, of course, but I'm disappointed because I always feel like I could push more. I think I'm very lazy, mm. and people will look at me because I say that to people, and they're like, "Are you, you know, effing crazy?" You're not being biggest critic, though. But I think that now, I'm proud of myself. Don't get me wrong, but I think that. The times that I'm sitting just listening to music, I don't watch TV really, but the times that I listen to music or I'm reading, I feel like, no, 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 see, I could, I could be trying to book more, more stuff, you mm -hmm. know? And then I actually get guilty if I spend two hours reading a book or something or listening to an album, you know, I'm like, damn, see, look, you could have been booking this, you could have been looking for an audition for that. Mm -hmm. But then I'm like, yo, I'm allowed to live too. You got to, <laughs> you got to. But, but yeah, honestly, yeah, that, that's, that's it. But, but that, that wasn't the question. You said something about the five years, what? Tell me. No, well, now you can tell uh, five years where you plan on being, where you see yourself five years. Definitely still, still doing, you know, my acting and my music. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to get that billboard hit, Sammy. You going to get No, that. I have hits. I'm saying I'm going to get that billboard chart. That billboard chart. chart. Listen, with the bullet, with the bullet, they don't do the billboard charts with the bullet no more? I don't know. Oh, man. See, look, I even haven't looked at it for Come a on, Barry. Nah, man. Are you talking about like the... Like the um, with the star, the bullet, yeah, man. Yeah, of course you know, they do. I'm saying you never see the Temptations yeah. with the bullet. Yeah, of course they do. Uh, hey, look, LeVar, man. Um, just want to say, brother, thank you for coming on to the thank show. Thank you, man. It's thank an you honor. for uh, just showing, you know, it's being real, man. Just being thorough, just being genuine. Uh, man about your word uh, for just working and don't stop working. Um, don't stop. The fact that you just travel here from North Jersey, that's your work ethic. So you say lazy, I ain't trying to none of that. You feel me? Everybody, hey, teach with his own. You feel me? But um, yeah, man, I, I I appreciate you for coming on the show today. And bro, I can't. If you disappointed about how you everything you accomplished now, I just met you over the past couple of months. I can't wait to see where you are throughout the rest of our careers, bro, for real. I really mean that. I really appreciate that. And, and again, congratulations to everything you do with Takeover Files and all the legends that you've interviewed and everything like that. Man. Listen, man, we just we added another success. legend to the list. You feel me? <laughs> Listen, man, LeVar, shout out where they can find all of your work. Uh, Instagram, Vimeo. Shout, let them know everything. My Instagram is Lavari underscore, L-O-V-A-R-I underscore. Um, my Twitter is L-O-V-A-R-I Lavari. Oh, Lady Gaga, Britney Spears, follow me on Twitter. That's kind of cool. Whew. That's heavy. I bet they do. Um, they saw you at the Grammys. No, nah, they called me before that, actually. <laughs> oh, I don't know why. No, I'm just saying, no, I didn't mean to come out like that. I'm sorry. No, nah, let's see. Shut say up. Me, I'm telling you to shut up, not you. Uh, Twitter.com <laughs> Lavari, L-O-V-A-R-I. And it's their official with the blue badges. Um, mm. <laughs> what else? Facebook.com slash Lavari official. Um, MTV has paparazzi 3.30 in the morning, but I don't care. It's on MTV. Facts. And um, 
Give Me Back My Heart is going to be on VH1 February 18th and also it's going to have its premiere though on television mm -hmm. this Monday. Um, so definitely grateful for that. SXSW South Bar. at Lux is the name of the venue, Lux. That's going to be March 15th in Austin, Texas and yeah. And oh, Matters of the Heart in select theaters now and yeah, I think we good. Work. And being lazy. Oh, uh, Match Game, Match Game, Match Game match on um, game. season one, season premiere episode uh, right now on Hulu um, and ABC.com. Mm. The one and only from Queens, New York, slash Jersey boy. But now we're in the city with it, man. I appreciate you sliding with us today, bro. God bless you. Could Make you sure you. stay on the lookout for this, man. For real. The one and only Lavari, man. Take over files, unstyle view. That's the call. We got go. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect timing, Boy, man. Yes, it was. I never knew it could be like